Hey folks, it's Jared Mananen from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. Today I've produced for you a short video on how to click into your cross-country ski bindings. For many of you who have been skiing for many years, you probably already know how to do this. There's nothing new to learn. However, having the experience of working in a cross-country ski center in Lake Tahoe, I know firsthand that there's a lot of beginners and even some intermediates that have a difficult time figuring out how to get into their cross-country ski bindings. So I have a couple of different types of bindings that I'll be showing you how to use. I have N&N, &N, I have the SNS Pilot bindings, I also have N&N &N BC both auto and manual, as well as a 3-pin Nordic Norm cross-country ski binding. So I'll kind of go through what my process is for clicking in and clicking out. Here's an N&N &N boot, it's a one bar system, a relatively wide but shallow platform. That bar beneath the toe needs to fill into those slots that I'm indicating in the video. For a proper seating of the bar, you want to clear out any snow that's collected in there. I usually just wrap the end of my boot with the handle of my ski pole. And then I imagine my foot as an airplane coming in for a smooth landing. The auto binding can be depressed with the tip of the ski pole. And I like to secure that second ski with my foot. I also like to roll back on my heel and draw my toe up. This is a boot that's compatible with the SNS Pilot system. It has two bars, and it's slightly more narrow and tall than the NNN platform. Here are the Pilot bindings, and here are where you put the two bars. The red triangle is where you would put the ski pole tip, or else you could use the manual setting as I'm showing right here. This being the manual version of Pilot, you actually have to pull that tab to unlock the binding and also to lock your boot into the binding. Sorry about the shift in perspective. Auto binding on the left of the screen and using the ski pole tip in that red triangle, I release the boot from the binding, being careful not to zing the ski with that second bar. There is a manual option on those pilot auto bindings as I've just indicated and then for the true manual pilot binding I'll secure the ski with my foot open the binding and then put my toe into the binding and lock it down the difference between NNN &N and pilot you can see there there's uh, no compatibility with these two systems Here's the NNN backcountry, and notice the large bar, much larger than a standard NNN. Auto binding on the left again. These are all the same, just kind of coming in like that airplane, gently hitting the ground. And it should be obvious from when I release these bindings that I'm rolling my toe back, so my heel is actually securing the ski in place. Now here is the magnum binding on the right. It is a pretty beefy lock system, and it does take a little bit of effort. I actually have to use two thumbs. Again, rolling the toe back, locking it up so no extra snow gets in there. And you can see the vast difference between a BC and a standard N&N &N boot. Again, no compatibility here. And lastly, the three pin binding with the duck bill coming off the toe of the boot. You can see one, two, three. And it looks like a work boot except for that big old duck bill. You'll notice arrows in that shot. They're in the lower uh, corners of the outside of the ski binding on those three pin bindings. This one takes some effort. Again, needing both. Uh, thumbs to secure the binding in place. Not only do the pins go into those holes, but they also, that bail clamps down on the duck bill, keeping you tight. You can release with the ski pole tip, as I'm doing right here, or you can use both thumbs 
in order to release it as I've just done. And usually these skis are for the back country, so I'm quick to flip them over so they don't go sliding away. This is just an annoying thing. It's not really that big a deal, but coming in as a dive bomber rather than that plane landing smoothly on the ground. Occasionally you can get in as I just demonstrated, but generally the toe of your boot is going to be bumping into that rubber bumper in front of the actual binding. So come in more flat and you'll have no problem. In this example, by putting opposing forces at angles, you risk zinging the ski down the mountain. Thanks for watching, folks. Subscribe to my channel. Check out TahoeTrailGuide.com. We'll see you next time.